we've evolved on the planet Earth, and so we find it a congenial place. But just next door is Venus, until recently enveloped in mystery. It has almost the same size and mass as the Earth. Might our sister world be a balmy summer planet, a little warmer than the Earth because it's a little closer to the sun? Are there craters, volcanoes, mountains, oceans, life? The first person to look at Venus through a telescope was Galileo in 1609. But all he could see was a featureless disk. And as optical telescopes got bigger, that's all anybody could see. A disk with no details on it at all. Venus evidently was covered with an opaque layer, thick clouds concealing the surface. For centuries, even the composition of the clouds of Venus was unknown. I mean, you could go outside, look see Venus with the naked eye, observe sunlight reflected from the clouds of Venus. What were you looking at? What were the clouds made of? Nobody knew. As a result, imagination ran riot. The absence of anything you could see on Venus led some scientists and others to deduce that the surface was a swamp. The arguments, if we can dignify it with such a phrase, went something like this. I can't see a thing on the surface of Venus. Why not? Because it's covered with a dense layer of clouds. Well, what are clouds made of? Water, of course. Therefore, Venus must have an awful lot of water on it. Therefore, the surface must be wet. Well, if the surface is wet, it's probably a swamp. If there's a swamp, there's ferns. If there's ferns, maybe there's even dinosaurs. Observation, you couldn't see a thing. Conclusion, dinosaurs. 